Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are truly looking to seeing in this movie is, of course, exactly how the film is going to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself. When we look at everything related to Episode 9, we do know that J.J. Abrams really is going to deliver with this movie in order to really change the characters of Kylo Ren and Rey in comparison to how they were used in both The Force Awakens and, of course, The Last Jedi. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to the ending of the movie, this is where things begin to get very intriguing. Now, it's described that the ending of the film will be the biggest of all the revelations in the film, and is described to be more powerful and revealing than what was revealed in the originals. It's said that the ending of the film is based off of one of the popular endings of a Disney animated film from the 1990s, and that was used as inspiration for the fate of Kylo Ren and or Rey in the movie. Additionally, it's said that the ending will also have to do with the big reveal of the Skywalker family and their bloodline, and will involve an important line of dialogue by Luke Skywalker himself, portrayed by Mark Hamill. It's said that the ending will be unexpected and unpredictable by the fans when it comes to the final frames of the movie that determine the true ending of the film. It's described that the final frames of the movie took a total of four weeks to film and was very involved with heavy dialogue between both Ridley, Driver, and Hamill himself. So I want to go over a couple of parts about all of this and as to why I am truly excited of what's coming our way for the end of the Skywalker Saga. Now, first things first, I want to go over how the ending of Episode 9 is said to be based on the ending of a Disney movie from the 1990s, a Disney animated movie from the 90s. Now, if we look at all the movies, we can really see how a lot of the Disney films have to do with a love story, right? Without a doubt. And I think that this most definitely does apply to exactly what's going to happen between both Rey and Kylo Ren. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams is doing something far different with the characters of Rey and Kylo in this film in comparison to what J.J. did in Episode 7 and what Ryan did in Episode 8. So that's one thing to keep note of right now is that J.J. is going to deliver a different type of Rey and Kylo Ren in this movie. Not only that, when it comes to the ending, we also will be learning a whole lot more about the Skywalker family slash the bloodline. And this probably fits directly in with what we went over, I would say, about a week ago or so, about the origins of the Skywalker name being actually explained in this movie by J.J. So this most definitely does connect right to that. But the other thing that really does stand out to me the most is how the Episode 9 ending revelation is going to be the biggest of the revelations in Star Wars Episode 9 and is actually said to be more revealing and powerful than the reveals in the original trilogy. So, the reveals in the original trilogy, the biggest two were of course that we have of course Darth Vader being Luke's father and of course Leia being Luke's sister, the top two reveals in the original trilogy. So, with that being said, the fact that this reveal at the very ending of the film is going to be more revealing than what we got in the originals and more powerful, and is also going to have something to do with a powerful line of dialogue provided by Luke Skywalker himself, portrayed by Mark Hamill, it really tells us that this ending has got to be special, either it's going to be open-ended, or it's really going to give us, you know, some great closure to the Skywalker saga. And not only that, the whole entire ending, the final frames of the movie, we're talking probably the last three to two minutes of the film, took a total of four weeks to film and was very involved with dialogue between both Ridley, Driver, and Hamill. So that's one thing to really keep in mind right now, is that this movie really is going to be focused on, of course, Luke, Rey, and Kylo Ren, as well as Leia as a character. It really seems like that J.J. really wants to pay you know, great respect to the Skywalker family, the family that really started the entire Star Wars franchise back in 1977. You know, if you think about it, if it weren't for George Lucas, if it weren't for Luke Skywalker himself and Darth Vader and Leia and everybody connected to that family, we wouldn't have Star Wars where it is today. And that's one thing to really think about, right? So, guys, we got the teaser trailer coming up in three days, just three days from now. Uh, we have, of course, the teaser and, of course, the title reveal taking place on Friday morning into the afternoon. So, a lot of things are going to happen during that day on Friday. 
And with that being said, guys, I gotta say, I mean, I'm just crossing my fingers here that J.J. Abrams really is going to be able to pull it off and is really going to be able to basically reach out to a lot of Star Wars fans around the world and truly change our view on The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, which he plans to do with this movie because he is changing certain elements of the Skywalker saga, as well as many of the twists and turns will have saga-wide implications. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.